It seems that the older I get, the more anxious I feel about the future. When we're kids, it feels like we have all the time in the world to accomplish the things we dream about. The future seems so far away and full of endless possibilities. I knew I wanted to move abroad as a teenager. I wanted the experience of living in different countries and growing into a better, more cultured person through it. As a teenager, I also already knew I wanted an exciting career in STEM. But I also knew I wanted to start a family eventually. I wanted to buy a house, but I also wanted to backpack through Asia. I wanted to work at the most exclusive companies, but I also wanted to own a business. I wanted to have lots of friends, but I also wanted to just focus on myself. I wanted to do a PhD, but I also wanted to start working as soon as possible. When you're 16, being 30 seems light years away and everything seems possible. Having accomplished some of the things my teenage self dreamed about, but also having given up on many others, I'm starting to realize that it's not about the accomplishments themselves. It's about expectations. If your expectations rise faster than your achievements, you will never be satisfied. Having high aspirations but modest expectations is a much happier, more sustainable approach to life. So I think we should be grateful and celebrate everyone and not take them for granted. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging from Portugal. I came here to visit my parents for Easter and I decided to take a few days off of work and I'm also working remotely for a couple of days this week before I return to London. Every time I come here to see my family, some people uh, become quite surprised to learn that I'm actually Portuguese. I was born in Germany, but I moved to Portugal when I was four years old and I did all of my school and university here in Portugal in Portuguese. So yeah, I am a native Portuguese speaker, eu falo português. <laughs> And I, I love it here, but Portugal is just not the best country to work in, at least in my field. So I decided to venture out and yeah, look for some opportunities abroad. But yeah, today's a work day. I already had my breakfast. I'm going to show you guys my working spot. I'm actually in my parents' second home. So they do have two houses and they're opposite from each other on the same street. And my parents rent out the second house, which is where I'm staying in right now. But we are currently in between tenants. So I'm sleeping here because my younger sister was also over and there wasn't enough space for everyone there. So this is my working area. This actually used to be a terrace, as you can see from the floor. And then when COVID happened and everyone started just working from home, my parents put these desks here. So in case me or my sisters were visiting, we could work from here if we wanted to and if we could. So it's 9.20 now, I'm gonna get started with work. So today I actually started working on a new project. If you watched my previous YouTube video, you know that I was finalizing a project which I worked on for a few months. And this project is now kind of officially delivered. Yeah, that means that now I'm going to start on something new. It's completely different from the project that I was doing before. And it requires doing a lot of reading and a lot of investigation. So yeah, that's what is going to keep me busy today. Tomorrow I'm on vacation, so I'm gonna enjoy the nice weather and maybe go to the beach. And today, if I manage to finish on time, I might go to the beach as well. So I'm gonna take a short lunch break now. I think my dad made his signature chicken stew, so yeah. Hey! La Binda! Yay! <laughs>
So I already had all of my project calls and most of my one-to-ones. I just have a one-to-one -one left in about half an hour with my manager. And I think after that, I'm probably going to go for a walk and then finish off a bit of work in the evening. The weather is so amazing today. I just want to make the most of it. Stevie came by to say hello. <laughs> you can't really see, but Stevie is on my lap now. Oh, I can't reach the camera because he's here. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so before I go for a walk with Kimba, I want to take a moment to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys already know that I like Brilliant. I've been using them on and off for about a year now. And I just think that they're a fantastic platform to learn STEM interactively online. They have so many courses ranging from so many different topics. It goes from computer science and artificial intelligence to algebra and mathematics and calculus. They also range from fundamental courses to more advanced material, and they offer more generic topics, such as, for example, computer science fundamentals, up to very specific courses. For example, there are some lessons on search engines or cryptocurrency. I actually started the course Introduction to Neural Networks the other day, and I'm almost finished with it. I think it's a very easy and engaging way to get into certain technical topics. And the courses are also really great to do during the commute or when you have just a stale hour in your day. So if you want to try them out for free, you can head over to brilliant.org slash csjackie or just click the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20% off the premium annual subscription. I hope you enjoyed if you decide to sign up. I've been in the city for too long. I kind of grew up in this area. Um, as I said earlier in the morning, I moved here when I was four years old and we always lived in the Algarve ever since. This is pretty much where I grew up in. There are some kiddos there playing volleyball. I really like this beach. It was always one of my favorites. It's very small and it's not that easy to access. You need to like walk a bit. so. It usually doesn't get that full, even in summer. So many flowers because it's spring. My dream is to live close to nature and still earn good money and have a dog that I can walk in nature, like these guys. <coughs> and now we're back to civilization. This beach has a restaurant. I would love this beach if it wasn't for the restaurant that's here on the right because they play this awful music really loud so if you're lying on the beach all you hear is this terrible music Before I finish the video, I wanted to leave you with a message. We are where we are, and that's exactly where we're supposed to be. Sometimes it's important to zoom out, to let it go. There's still so much coming. Let's enjoy each season of our lives, because each of them is unique, and let's do our best and trust the process.